So we have an atmosphere with the blood of Jesus Christ. Blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus Christ. Holy Ghost, take over. Take over. Mm-hmm. Sorry, take Holy over. Ghost, that I, take over, oh Lord. Take mm-hmm. over, oh Lord. In mm-hmm. the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. 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 Glory to the name of the Lord God Almighty. Greetings again, my beloved sisters and my wonderful brothers in the house. My mommies, you're all welcome in Jesus' name. Amen. My topic for today is, have you counted the cost if you lose your soul? Have you counted the cost of losing your precious soul? Is a question that you will sit down and ask yourself, will you be able to count the cost? Have you sit down? Have you ever sit down and said, if I lose my soul, how will I be able? Have you, have you sit down to imagine it? Have you sat down to like think about it and say, oh, if I lose my soul, what will happen? Tonight, beloved brothers and sisters, wherever you are watching me from, I want to tell you tonight that you should sit down and think about if you lose your soul, will you be able to pay for it? Can you pay for your soul? Can you pay for your the soul that was given to you by the Lord Jesus Christ? Have you counted the cost? Have you counted the separation? That you will be separated from light. You will be put into internal darkness. Have you counted it? Have you sit down? You are living your life. From day to day, from years to years, you have not sat down to say, oh, this life that I'm living, how did I even get it? Okay, perhaps. You must have heard about Jesus. Have you really sat down to say, who is this Jesus? Oh, they said he's the creator of heaven and earth. Who is this Jesus? They said he's the one that created us. Have you sat down to say, how uh, did I come about? Have you sat down to ask yourself this question? Because a day is coming. One day, one particular day is coming that you will give account of your life. A day is coming that you will give account of your life. A day is coming that you will be judged, the righteous God, the one who has no fault. The righteous judge, you will stand before him and you will give account of your life. You will give account of what you have done with your body. You will give account of being here on earth. You will give account of how you use your life. You will give account of everything. A day is coming. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My beloved brothers and sisters, I'm asking you again. Have you count the cost? If you lose your soul to internal darkness, if you lose your soul, have you count the cost? Will you be able to bear the torment? Will you be able to bear the separation? Will you be able to bear it? When you are here, you are sick on earth, you have money. You are here on earth, you don't have money, you complain. But at least you are able to, you struggle, you know, you get something to eat. But when you lose your eternal life, you will have nobody to blame rather than to blame yourself. The time is still now. Why you have your breath of life? Why you have that life? Why you have the breathing of life? A lot of people are taking their last breath, but the Lord has been giving you the long rope to draw. The Lord has been giving you that long rope. You have lived 10 years, 20 years, 30 years, perhaps 40, 50, and you are still dangling with your life. You are not settled, you are not stable because the things of the world have overcrowded you, have covered your face. 
I tell you, a day is coming. You will give account. A day is coming. You will account for what you are doing with your body, with your life. We've been here. It is by the grace of God. The Lord has given us that grace to be alive. Don't think it is by your own power. It is by your own strength. It is by your beauty or it is by your riches that you are here on earth. It is the Lord God Almighty who created the heavens and the earth. He's the one that gave you life. He gave you soul. You will account for it. Depends on how you use it. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I will go to the book of Matthew 16, 26. Matthew chapter 16, verse 26. Praise God, I read in Jesus' name. Yeah. For he said, For what is a man profited if he shall gain the whole world and lose his soul? Or what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? What shall a man give in exchange for his soul? What shall you give in exchange for your soul? What shall you give in exchange for your soul? What can you give? When you have gained the whole world, you have gained the fame, the plenty followers, the Instagram followers, the Facebook followers, for not preaching the word of God, for not living the life of God, and you. All your daily life is to make money, make money, make money, buy clothes, shop, eat. Then you sleep. When you wake up, you carry your phone. You go back to the internet. You are not thinking that a day is coming that you will give account. Here is what the Lord Jesus Christ, the creator of heaven and earth, is telling us. In the book of Matthew 16, verse 26, he said, What shall it profit a man if you shall gain the whole world? If you shall gain the favority of the whole world? If you have the lovers all over the world, if you are the most loved girlfriend, if you are the most loved boyfriend, if you are the one that when you call people, are, people are say, oh yes, but you don't have Jesus, what will it profit you? What will it profit you? Remember, a day is coming. You will give account. Mm -hmm. You will give account, whether you like it or not. You must give account. You must give account. We came to this world for a purpose. And a day is coming. The owner of our soul, the owner of our soul, we ask us what we have done with our life. The owner of our soul, we ask us. Hallelujah. Amen. You know, in this life, many people, they hurry along with the things of the world, the pleasure, without considering the consequences. For everything that you are doing, there is a consequence. There is a reward. There is a reward. And reward awaits every man. Reward awaits every man. Don't think you have been like that. Some people will say, oh, since I was born, they told me that Jesus Christ is coming. Jesus Christ is coming. Jesus has not yet come. Eh? What if you die today? If you die today, have you not gone to meet your Jesus? Have Jesus not come for you? If you die today, your own, is, your, your, your own has finished. It's, it's, that, that's the end of it. You must turn to the Lord Jesus Christ. That life you are living is not yours. That life that you are living is not yours because you are going to give account. The words that you speak, the things that you do with your body, with anything that the, the Lord has given you whatsoever that is in your body. So you are going to give account. So you are going to stop all those things that you are doing. 
I am begging you, you must stop. Stop it. Because if you don't stop, this message will be played for you on that last day. It will be played for you. If you don't stop your waywardness, your wickedness, your abortions, your fornications, sleeping with married men for money, gossiping, backbiting, condemning people. If you don't stop these things, a day is coming. Like I will always say, it's not only people that are sick that used to die quick. We all know what is going on in the world. There are, cho there, 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 there are chaos, pandemonium everywhere, wars everywhere. There are people who just work, they go to work, they come back and they say they sleep, they don't wake up. Whereas there are people who have been sick for 10 years, they are still on their sick bed. And you that is living your life, you say, oh, I'm healthy, I'm not sick. I, I don't see anything that will kill me. Don't say that, beloved brother and sister. The time is now for you to repent. You don't know what the next minute hold for you. The time is now. The time is now for you to repent. Have you counted the costs if you lose your soul? There will be total separation. If you lose your soul, who is your peace right now? It's Jesus Christ. It's Jesus Christ that is your peace. You are on earth here, you are experiencing, you, you feel the peace. You are able to breathe. You are able to move around. I tell you, when you are in here, you don't move. It is devil. It is devil that will be telling you to do this and do that. You can't control him. You cannot. But Jesus has given you the privilege to serve him. He said, no, I don't want to be in bondage. Like some people call it, they will say it's bondage. Uh, Christianity is a bondage. If you know that the, the privilege, the right that we have as children of God, why be a, 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 or, or as a Christian or serving the Lord Jesus Christ, the rights that we have, if you know the peace that we have, if you know it, you will run away from that thing that you are doing, from that sin life, from that sinful life, from disobedient life, from living a fake life, trying to please people, but you have no one day please your father in heaven who gave you life, who make sure you breathe and wake up, who make sure you sleep and wake up. When you sleep, do you know when you sleep? But of a sudden in the morning you are awake. You can't even pray. You can't pray. The next thing is for you to pick up your phone, begin to be looking for news. You must change from that ways. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I consider the glitters and grammars of sins and the things it will win. We need to stop and count the cost. You know, there are glitters, there are glamours. There are these things, they cost a lot of things. The world is full of fake glitters, fake glamour. But all these things, sin is attached to it. Sin, they are attached to it. We must count the cost that comes with all these things. We must count the cost. If you lose your soul today, if you lose your soul today, what will you do? You know, when some people passed, I see a lot of comments. They say, oh, fly high, fly this, fly that. When you have not known Jesus, how will you fly high? How will you rest in peace? You can't rest in peace. The only one that gives peace while you are here on earth, it is Jesus Christ. It is his blood. If you do not accept him, who do you think will give you peace in, in, after you have passed? You know? The world has make it look as if, oh, it's just, uh, 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 it, it's, it's, it's normal. When, when a sinner pass, it, it, the, uh, of a sudden, everybody, everybody, everybody begins to have that mindset that, oh, that person has gone to be with the Lord. I am telling you today, if you die in your sin, it is over. This Jesus that you are going to church, 
with carnality, that you are going to church with all repented hearts, that you go to church with unseriousness. You are your boyfriend, you are in the room watching church program. You will put your head on your boyfriend's lap. Your boyfriend will be touching you up and down. You are watching church, you are playing with, you are playing with Jesus Christ. When you die, you will know that Jesus Christ is very wicked. When you die, you will see the you will see the anger of Jesus. You are saying Jesus is full of love. He's full of love. Yes, he is. Why you are still on earth? He's full of love. That is why he keeps begging you day and night, every time of your life. He has been protecting you. You've done a lot of evils. He has given you that long rope to draw, but you, 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 just, you don't want to repent because the flesh keeps telling you, oh, there's no God, this and that. But a day is coming that you face the true God. You will face him. For it is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the Lord. It is a fearful thing, a very fearful thing to fall in the hands of the Lord. May the Lord help us in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. And we open to the book of Luke 14, 28 to 33. Anybody reading for me, please? Luke 14, 28 to 33. Yes, sir. For, for which of you intended to build a tower does not sit down first and count the cost, whether he has enough to finish it, lest after he has made the foundation and is not able to finish all, and is not able to finish. All who see it begin to mock him. Verse 30. Say this man began to build and was not able to finish. 31. A what king going to make war against another king does not sit down first to see that whether he is able with 10,000 to meet him who comes against him with 20,000. Verse 32. Or else, why the other is still a great way of send a delegation as conditions of peace. Verse 33, the last verse. So likewise, whoever of you does not forsake all that he, ha that he has cannot be my disciple. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the living Jesus. Hallelujah. You must forsake all and follow Jesus. You must forsake the world. You cannot serve two masters at the same time. You cannot please the world and say you want to please the Lord Jesus Christ. You can't. You will be only deceiving yourself if you want to please the world and still use one hand and be serving God, you must forsake the world. You must forsake whatever thing that you are doing and follow Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 You want to follow the Lord Jesus Christ? You must forsake the world. Your old ways. Whatsoever you are, whatsoever thing that you are doing, you must leave those things. There is no bias in the ways of Lord of the Lord. His ways is straight. His ways are narrow, not the broad ways that you are, not the broad way that that, that church that they cannot caution you. They, they can't talk to you. When they talk to you, you say no. This 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 church, they 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 are telling me how to live my life. I don't want to go to this church again. Satan is deceiving you. 
you must leave that broad way and follow the narrow way. If not, can you count the cost if you lose your soul? Nobody will be there. Remember, when you are giving account of your life, no one will be there to save you. Nobody will be there. Remember the day you came to this world. You were born alone. The day you die, you die alone. When you have this thought in your head daily, when you have this mindset, you will be serious with the things of the Lord. Being in this world is like going to, a, going to markets. Have you ever gone to market or have you ever go to market and you don't, you don't return home? You will definitely come back home. When you go, when you get home, you open your and begin to check the things which you went to the market to buy. That is how it's going to be. But this time, it is the Lord himself, the Lord Jesus Christ, that we open that bag and check the things which you went to the market to go and buy. You must trade in the straight path, the path that lead to eternity. If not, are you able to give account of your life? Have you, are you, are, will you be able to account for your life? Will you be able to account for your life? You know, when, 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 when they hear the sound doctrine, when they hear the true sound doctrine, their ears are itching. Your ears don't want to see it. When the message is going on, you are saying, no, I, I need to go somewhere. I need to go somewhere. All the week, you have it to yourself. But just one day, to dedicate to the Lord, you said no. All those things, they are deceiving. They are destroyers of souls. Come to the Lord today so that you don't give, you don't account. Come to the Lord today so that you don't give account. So that you don't give account of your life. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Remember, the love of God is still here while you are living. The love of Jesus Christ is still here. Each second you breathe, the love is still with you. Though you are in sin. Though you are in, in, in so many ab 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 abomination things, doing a lot of things, the love of God is still with you. But as soon as you pass, as soon as you cross over, that love will be exhausted. That love will be exhausted. A time will call when the depths of God's love will be exhausted from God's stand, for, from, it will be exhausted. His love will be exhausted. A time is coming. You must repent from that waywardness. You must repent from doing boyfriend and girlfriend. Boyfriend cannot save you. If they are telling you now, you said no, you cannot live without a man. You that is uh, giving birth to, 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 to you, are, you are having a lot of children and they have not yet paid your bride price. You are there comfortable calling the person your husband. Are you not even afraid? That body that Jesus gave to you, you are selling it. You have sold it and they have not even paid you. They have not paid your parents. You went to go and sit there, Gidiba, and you are doing his my husband. And the other one is doing his my wife. You will account for it. If you do not change, you will account for it. If you do not change, You are committing abortions. You have been doing it for a long time. The Lord has been giving you rope to draw. Don't you know that those souls, you will account for those souls. So married women in the, 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 in the husband's house, they will say, I don't want to have more children. This one, this one has come mistakenly. Let me just go and pull it off. That is the soul. That is the soul. You are a murderer without knowing. If you do not repent, you will give account. 
and I know that you cannot account for it. You won't be able to stand before the Lord because God is a righteous God. And it is fearful to fall into the hands of the living God. It is fearful. Can you stand the Lord? Can you stand him? You can't. You can't. So the time to repent is now. The time to repent. I have been in that way before, but the Lord changed me. He changed me. I was there. I had an abortion. I did boyfriend, girlfriend, whatsoever. I, the, the, the Lord brought me out of his way, of, of, of that wickedness, because I was on my way to hell already. I was in hell already. He brought me back and put me in his internal life. This internal light, if you don't come out from those way, if you don't come out from gossipy anger, any little thing you are angry, you don't forgive. You, 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 you say, I will never forgive. Then you still go to church. You will go to church to go and be praying. What are you praying? Did you not hear that the word of God says, it, 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 you must forgive as the heavenly father forgives you. Somebody has wronged you. You don't want to forgive. Somebody has said something about you. You don't want to forgive. But every day you keep asking the Lord for mercy. Ah, but have mercy on me. You're on the streets doing prostitution. You say, oh, Lord, I beg, no verse for me. Send me this. Send me that. The time is now. This message is for you. You must change. You must change. We have not come here to preach the word of, hey, you are blessed, you are this, you are that. When your soul is in hell, when your soul is burning, when you will, you, you die today, you, you, you will regret and say, I did not hear this word. Nobody told me this. But when we are saying this, you are, you are angry. Will I even blame you? It's the demon, it's the devil who has blinded the word. Who is covering? Who, who has decided to, to, to turn the gospel into something like it, 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 into some certain uh, a prosperity preaching? You are blessed. You are this. You will prosper. You will. Why your soul has not prospered? Why your soul is rusting away? The flesh keep prospering. You are glittering. Your flesh is shining. Why your soul? Your soul is crying. Your soul is crying. Your soul cannot speak out must change today come to jesus because a time is coming a time is coming a day is coming it could be now it could be the next minute the next hour every day your prayer point is lord bless me lord bless me lord bless me lord bless me i want a child i want a husband like a, a, a lot of girls now, when you go to some, some, some preacher's comment session, oh, I received my husband, I received my husband, I received my this, I received my that. Have you received the Lord Jesus Christ, the owner of your soul? The one that is coming again? The one that is coming for you? Have you received him? You depend on the earthly things. When you know that a day is coming, you, you, you are aware that a day is coming. Whether you like it or not, you know that a day is coming you will definitely, definitely, that is the only thing that we cannot deny in this world. We will definitely go and meet our creator and you will give account. You will give account. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Yeah. Do Hallelujah. not fall into the hands of the Lord. Do not fall into the hands of the Lord. That is why you have to change your ways. That is why if there have been darkness in your family, you prove to them that you can be the light. You say, they did not give birth to me or in, in my, my home where I come from. It's not, it's not Christian home. You are hearing this message. You can make yourself to be different. You can bring light to your family. You can be the light to your family. You can be, you, you can be different from your friends. The Lord is calling you today. You must change from that wicked way. That wicked way, you will change. If you don't change, 
There is no two ways about it. You will give account. Don't say, oh, uh, when I die, uh, God, God understands. God understands when you are here on earth. He understands you. He keeps quiet. He's watching you. He's looking at you. Why you are opening your leg to be fornicating? Is you you sleep with Joe? You sleep with Joseph? You sleep with uh, 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 what's it called? Uh, Mustafa? You keep sleeping around with that body that the Lord gave to you. You keep going up and down. You they use your body up and down. That body where they use it? Eh? Hmm. Three days, one don't chop and scatter. Up. Then your soul is empty. Your soul will be empty. How will you stand before the Lord? How will you stand? How will you stand? When the body that the Lord has given you, you expose it, you open up, you don't care. And my body, anything I like, I'll do with them. Who tell you say your body? Who told you? Who tell you? Who told you? Who told you you can dress anyhow? Who told you you can put on whatever you like? Who told you that? Who told you? You must repent from your wickedness, your wicked ways. Your ways are wicked. You must repent. If not, can you account for your for, for your for your soul? Can you can you be able to face the Lord? When I encounter the Lord, when the Lord make me to encounter Him, you know they will say, "Oh, God is full of love." This, yes, He's full of love. I've seen two ways of Him. Is actually full of love. The first time, yes, I saw him. But the second time, it, it, it wasn't love. When you see the Lord Jesus Christ in anger, when you see him, pray to encounter him. When you see him in anger, in fact, you will not want to, you will not want to move. Before you think, before you talk, you will think. Before you even eat, you will think. Before you will you. You, you, you will not do things anyhow. Before you wear a dress, you will think, will the Lord be happy with my dress? Will the Lord be happy with this? Will the Lord be happy with this? Are you all thinking, oh, God is full of love. God is this, God is that. When you die, God, you will see the other side of him. You will know that this God that you are saying, oh, he has gone to be with the angels, the angels of the Lord. Who told you the angels of the Lord come to pick a dirty teeth? When, that, 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 when you have not known God, when you have not used your life, dedicated your life for him, when you are not, you, you are not obedient to his word, when they have been preaching for you, you said no. No go yell. Who even told you the fire and heaven existed? You, you are watching me and you are saying that. You better stop that word. You better stop that word. If you do not stop it, this message, this video that you are watching, they will play it for you on the last day. But I pray, even if they want to play it for you, it should be the positive side. You say, it is this message that I watched that I repented. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. And we open to the book of Hebrews, Hebrews 9, 27. That's, that's, that's the, the, one of the verses that we are supposed to be reading daily, 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 daily. Hebrews 9, 27. I just want us to open it. Amen. Hebrew 9, 27. Yes, sir. And as it's appointed unto men once to die, but after this judgment. Amen. Yes, sir. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. <laughs> you see, it's not me that wrote it. It is not me that put it there. <laughs> it is the Lord himself. It is appointed unto man. Once you die, the judgment begins. Can you face the torments? Can you face the darkness? If they take light now, perhaps you are in a country where the, the electricity is not stable, where the power is not stable, they take light. How do you feel? Just imagine you are being thrown into darkness. How will you feel? The time is now for you to come to light. The light is shining on you, but you are moving yourself away from the light. You say you prefer darkness. You prefer darkness. 
no, not darkness. Then they drag you come like you. They say, no, not darkness. I like darkness. I like darkness. My sister, my brother, the light is here. The light is here. The light is the Lord Jesus Christ. The one who has come to share his blood, that precious blood, where you they call it here. You don't even know the meaning of precious blood, where you they call it. Or you go to measure Jesus' name anyhow. If you know change, all oh, the Jesus where you don't call. Any small thing, oh Jesus, oh Jesus. Any small thing, if you do not repent, <laughs> you will account for it. You go account for them. You must change. You need to. You know, when we put messages out here like this, it's because we love your soul. We it, only us know if it, we, heaven is too big. We also want you to be in heaven, just like the way we will be in heaven. That is why we are preaching this word. So you get out of that darkness. Darkness and light cannot cohabit together. Jesus is light. Jesus is the light of the world. Come to Jesus today. Because if you lose your soul, <laughs> If you lose your soul, it is better you were not born. It is better, said they not born you. It is better you were not born. When you lose your soul, it is better. It will be better. Don't allow Lucifer to be using you. That Lucifer say, make him get out. Take a stand today. Take that stand. Say, Lord. I want to know you. Let the talk say you, you. I want, I want, I want to know you. If you seek the Lord genuinely, the Lord will encounter you will encounter him. If you seek the Lord genuinely, remember a time is coming when friends will not be there, brother will not be there, your children, your husband, perhaps your marriage in both ways. Nobody will be there. You will not give account. Oh, uh, it's because I was pregnant after nine months. Uh, I gave birth. Uh, the children go to school, this and that, that and this. You will not be able to give those excuses. We are to put the Lord Jesus Christ first in everything we do. In everything, we are to put the Lord Jesus Christ. We were once like you. I was once in the world. I was once in the world, but the Lord brought me to his light. Today, as you are hearing this message, with love in my heart, with love in our hearts, we are begging you to accept Jesus and forsake your old ways. All the runnings that you are running up and down, pursuing money here and there, uh, the richest man, have you not heard of some, some of these richest people who, who died? They never, they only buried them with caskets. If it's too much, they bury them with golden, golden caskets. But with golden gas caskets prevent, uh, um, prevent their soul or uh, uh, bring them back to life. All the money they have, they never take them. They never take them. All the money you are pursuing, day and night. You are trying to make ends meet. Oh, I, I'm doing this. Perhaps you are in a prostitution or in a hotel right now, doing prostitute, sleeping with thousands of men. After you are sleeping, you say, ah, now only 30, I don't collect today. Or now only 40, I see today. <laughs> if you die for that prostitution house, you don't even get nothing. Please, my sister. Repent because you no go feel account for your soul. You no go feel. You can't stand the Lord. You can't stand the Lord's anger. You will not be able to stand it. You must repent because the love of God is to a standpoint. The love of God it extends to some certain levels. When you are still on earth, once you die, that love we aspire. That is if you die in your sin. But if you die in the righteous way, the Lord will put you to his rest. All the suffer that you suffer, perhaps all the suffer you are suffering, you have not even gotten a car or a house or, or anything, but you keep suffering. 
you keep going from one place, struggling, and you have not yet known the Lord. And you are thinking, oh, because of the suffering, you are suffering. If you die, at least, like some people will say, eh, she don't die, you don't die. May go rest. If you don't know the Lord, you will not rest. You will not rest. So what are all the sufferings? At the end of the day, you don't know the Lord, you will die. Please don't die. Accept Jesus today. Accept him. If the Lord can change me, if the Lord can change me, he can change you. He can change you. Nothing is too hard for him. Or perhaps you are in the, 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 the that um, you are addicted to pornography or masturbation. You are saying, after doing it, you are saying, oh, I don't know. I don't know why I'm doing this. Seek the face of the Lord. I was addicted to masturbation. It was the Lord that set me free because I disciplined myself. I told the Lord, I asked him, how can I stop this? And he helped me out. Have you asked? Have you asked the Lord? You are into masturbation, pornography, but on Sunday you still dust your Bible and you go to church to go and sit down. You are in that seat daily. When you come back again, no. The time for you to stop it, it is now. You can't continue to sin. Your body is the temple of the Lord God Almighty. You can discipline yourself. It is only God that have right to do whatever he pleases with your body, not demons. Not some, not some demons. Don't say, oh, I've been trying. Hey, I fell back again. I've stayed one year. I fell back again. Have you disciplined yourself? Have you asked the Lord to help you? Or perhaps you are you are backslided. You have you 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 were you were in, in on this faith or in this faith before. You were in holiness and righteousness. You were you were you, you were in that this this tiny road, but because of the things of the world, you said, Oh, I'm tired, and you left the ways of the Lord. The time is now for you to reconcile with the Lord. The time is now for you to reconcile with him. Don't say, oh, the word is sweet. The word is sweet. Is there peace in the world now? The world is full of chaos, hunger, sicknesses. So many things are happening. And you decide to live the way of peace. Jesus is peace. You decide to live the way of peace. But slide that you must come back to the Lord. But slide that you must come back to Jesus. Because if you do not come back to the Lord and you die like that, it will be better you have not even had. It will be better you have not tasted of the grace. It will be better you have not even come to the knowledge of truth. This word is for you. The door is wide open. The arms of Jesus is still open for you. Come to Jesus today. Come to the Lord Jesus Christ today. He's waiting for you. He's at your door, knocking daily. I know that thing that you are doing. He's telling you, stop it. He's telling you, come to me. He's telling you, but on the other hand, because of your friends, remember the day you will die, your friends, they will only cry you. They will only cry. They will cry for some, maybe one month or two months. They maybe post your picture on Facebook because it's when somebody died, they, they celebrate people. You will not be there to see again. They will be saying rest in peace. Why you are not resting in peace? You must have sense in Jesus' name. You must not be deceived in Jesus' name. You must come to the Lord in Jesus' name. Be wise now and serve the Lord Jesus Christ because you don't even know what tomorrow owes. Tomorrow is never promised. But they that are in Christ, it is a promise for them. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the living Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. You must come to the Lord today so that the Lord will wash you with his precious blood. He will wa wash you. He will recognize you. Now you are, you are still in sin. The Lord does not know you. He does not know you. He doesn't know you. He doesn't know you. 
But as soon as you come to Jesus, you accept him, you are baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. He will wash you with his precious blood. He will cleanse you. He will recognize you. And your name will be in the book of life. Hallelujah. Amen. Your name will be, will be in the book of life. If your name is not in the book of life, sit down to be thinking about it. How is my name going to be in the book of life? You are living every day. You are living every day. You are just about. Living anyhow. And your name has not been written in the book of life. Remember, in the book of Revelation, the, the, the word of God says that the, both the small and the big will stand before the Lord. The books will be open. The books will be, book will surely be open. As I'm talking to you, there are angels holding book, taking every of your daily activities. Imagine if you die, if you die, all, all, all your books, what will be written is a shower, a shower, fornication, boyfriend, girlfriend, this, that. Ah, my sister, you must repent. The Lord that did it for me will do it for you. You still have life. Don't let your book be full of negative things. Don't let your book be full of abortion, anger, malice, 20 boyfriends, sugar daddy, sleeping with Sleeping with people's husband. Don't let your book be, be, be that. Allow Jesus to wash you with his precious blood. Allow Jesus to overlook all the sins. He said, come all to me, all you that labor, and having laden, I will give you rest. Come to Jesus. It is only Jesus Christ. I am a living witness. It is only Jesus Christ that can give you rest. Husband cannot give you rest. Wife will not give you rest. The world cannot give you rest. The world cannot give you peace. Boyfriend cannot give you peace. It is only Jesus Christ. When you experience that peace, when you come to Jesus and experience that peace, what about eternity? What about being with the Lord? Come to Jesus. Perhaps you are depressed. You know why? Because you don't have Jesus in your life. I'm depressed, so. I don't know. I'm just, I, I'm depressed. I'm contemplating suicide. As a child, how will suicide come? How, how will you be depressed? Because you have not yet known the Lord. You have not yet known the Lord. That's why all those thoughts, Satan has taken hold. Satan has captured you. You are now in his nets. And the Lord is standing and is calling you. He's telling you, call my daughter. He's telling you, call my sister. And you are saying, no, that's Satan. I I like Satan. Come to Jesus so that that depression will be wiped away from you. Come to Jesus so that that suicide thoughts will be taken away from you and Jesus will give you peace. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the living Jesus. Hallelujah. Can we open to the book of Philippians 4? Philippians 4, Philippians 4, Philippians 4, 7, if you are there, just read, please, God bless you. Okay, praise the Lord. And the peace of God, which passes all understanding, shall keep at Christ Jesus. The peace of God, what is peace? When you have come to know Jesus, Jesus will give you peace. That is the first thing. Because that load that you have put on yourself, that load that Jesus did not put on you, that you carry and put on yourself, load of thinking, load of girlfriend, load of this. You have not married, load. Every of their load. Jesus will take away those loads and give you his peace. Do you know what it means to experience the peace of Jesus? You have been calling Jesus. You don't even know who Jesus is. But come to Jesus. 
Just try it. Say, ah, ah, this one is talking. Ah, let me even try. Let me see. Let me see. If it's not today, you come and you come back here and say, ah, no, you are lying. No, just try it. Try it. Don't be deceived. Don't be deceived by all these fake prophets that are in the, on uh, Facebook telling you, can I, can I prophesy? Why your heart? You are still contemplating suicide. Don't you, 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 you don't you used to think? They are telling you, oh, this person in your house is the one uh, trying to kill you, is the one trying to kill you. But they have not opened their mouth to tell you, how's your soul doing? Every day you bath, you use the most expensive cream. Your skin is skinny. They will say your skin is skinny. <laughs> your skin is skinny. Why your soul is <laughs> not soy? You must change. You bet. Every, if you don't bet a day, now how do you feel? Maybe you don't take your bath. How, how do you feel? You say, my body is inching me. But your soul, your soul is crying. Because you, you, your, your soul has been like dormant, like your soul has not received water. Nothing, nothing. You don't bet your soul. You don't wash. You don't give your soul food to eat, which is the word of God. Don't allow anybody to deceive you. Be wise and accept the true message of the Lord Jesus Christ. The truth preaching, the true doctrine of the Lord Jesus Christ, we must accept it. Which is the first thing is salvation of your soul. How is your soul doing? Do you know Jesus? When you, when you have come to Jesus, then you, you, you begin to, anywhere you go to, the first thing they will ask, you will be asking people, ah, sister, and do you know Jesus? Do you know Jesus? Do you know why? When you see people are asking you that question, it's because they have experienced the peace. They have experienced that, 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 that inner peace that comes with knowing the Lord. All those inferior complex, bleaching, fixing nails. You are not com comfortable. You can't look natural. No, I have to add things to my body. It is because you don't have peace. When you have peace, you will not think about those things. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Perhaps you are going to church. You are going to church. They don't tell you all those things. Beware of false prophets, false pastors. They don't tell you. All they are after is your money. You are paying tight. You go and do a shower, come and use it to pay tight. Don't have sense. You go and do, boyfriend will give you money, you come and put it in, in, in offering. They say, sow seed. Where is it in the Bible to be sowing seed? You are sowing seed. You think sowing seed will take you to heaven. If you are that seed, if you don't repent, it will land you in hell. Those stickers you are wearing, they read by all those things that you have not taken as Jesus Christ. Those oil whatsoever. Those merchandise that they are selling, you have not taken it as your Jesus Christ. You want to sleep. You, you have Bible. You put it at your side. But don't, are you not surprised that sometimes they will still come and press you. You are not able to do anything. Are you not surprised? You will sleep and put Bible by your side. And they will come. They will do whatever. Spirit, yeah, well, the, the other spirit husband will come, come and molest you. And they say, oh, I don't know. I don't know why they keep coming. I don't know why I keep doing this. It's because the ones that drive those things away, you have not surrendered to him. His name is Jesus Christ. He's the one, not all these fake Facebook prophets, fake prophets. Can I prophesy? Can I do this? Can I do that? But they don't tell you your soul is crying. My sister, I love you with the love of Jesus Christ. Come to the Lord. Because if you lose your soul, you will not be able to account for it. You will not be able. You will not be able. I pray that you will change. I pray you will go and seek the face of the Lord. I pray you will sit down and say, oh, I've been living. Let me, let me really make I sit down. Wait, see, carry yourself sit down. I say, what did they really do me? 
Then ask yourself a question. A day is coming. Hebrews 9.27 For it is appointed on Thomas wants to die once. Once you take your last breath, once you breathe that breathing down, once you are done, there is no going back. There is no going back. There is no going back. You cannot go back. You cannot. Don't play with your life. You allow boyfriend to be deceiving you. Are, he, he, one small thing, they like, allow and they trouble your mind. Why? Why? Why not surrender to Jesus? When you die, now Jesus will come carry you. Now him. But if you they run from them now, you can't die. How he won't they carry you? He go tell you, say, no, no, you now. Come to Jesus today because he loves you. He loves you. Nobody loves you more than the way Jesus loves you. Imagine he came to die just for your sins. He shared his precious blood. He was sinless. They didn't find any fault in him. He was without fault. Oh, glory to the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Glory to Jesus Christ. Glory to the Lamb of God. Glory to him. Amen. I pray that it will not be late for you as you come across this video, wherever you are watching from, this message will not be used against you. As you are listening to this message, you will change. The Lord will change you. The Lord will revive you. The Lord will revive you, backslider. The Lord will turn you back to him, backslider. The Lord will revive you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. The name of the Lord be praised in Jesus. Amen. 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 As it is written, Proverbs 1 verse 5, that a wise child will hear and increase learning, and a child of understanding will attain wise counsel. So the word of God is to wash us daily until we are clean. Ephesians 5, 26 and 27, that Christ might sanctify and cleanse the church with the washing of the water by the word, that he might present the church to himself, a glorious church, not a glorious denomination, not having spot or record or any such thing, but that she should be holy and without blemish. The word of God is to wash us clean. If you are running away from the hard message, then you are running to hell by yourself. Jesus did not create hellfire for humanity, but humanity, human beings choose to run into hellfire by their selves. I pray that God, who has given us the opportunity to hear his word, will help us to the end in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. I want to add the book of Malachi 3. I'm not talking about tithe and offering. You know, when they mention Malachi, that is where most pastors are centered on. The, the tithe and offering in it, that is what most of them is concerned about. Malachi chapter 3 from verse 13. Your words have been harsh against me, says the Lord. Yet you say, what have we spoken against you? Verse 14, you have said it is useless to serve God. What profit it is that we have kept his ordinance and that we have worked as mourners before the Lord of hosts. So now we call the proud blessed. For those who do wickedness are raised up. They even take God and go free. Verse 16. And here they go, a book of remembrance will be open. Then those who feared the Lord spoke to one another, and the Lord listened and heard them. So a book of remembrance was written before him, the book of Chronicle. For those who fear the Lord and who meditate on his name, they shall be mine, says the Lord of hosts, on the day that I make them my joys. 
I will spare them as a man spare his own son who serves him. Then you shall again decide between the righteous and the sinner, the wicked. Between one who serves God and one who does not serve him. In Malachi chapter 4, verse 1. For behold, the day is coming, burning like an oven, and all the power. Yes, all who do wickedly, all who are living in sin, will be stumbled. And the day which is coming shall burn them up, says the Lord of hosts. That day will burn them up. They will leave them neither root nor branch. But to you who fear my name, the son of righteousness shall rise with healing. In Jesus' glorious name, we have received his word. Amen. Amen.